Taco Bell, think outside the bun. Well, it's no wonder. They don't want you to know what's really inside that bun. If you go on the Taco Bell website, you'll see a section titled, I heard a rumor that there's sand in your taco meat. Oh yeah, I just love the taste of authentic sand in my burrito. Oddly enough, Taco Bell admits that yes, there is sand in their taco meat. When someone accused Taco Bell of using taco meat filling with only 35% beef, do you know what they did? They responded with a YouTube video announcing that their meat was only 88% ground beef. Duh, because having a taco that's only 12% fake is so much better. So what the hell is in their meat? Additives found in soda, candy, and even printer inks. Ditch the sandy meat. It's time for a burrito battle. Keen what? Quinoa. It's like Bryce's brother from another mother. No time for crying. Melissa is off to get her deadly volcano burrito. Trader Joe's knows you're busy. Beef is for fatties. Protein is for pros. Double portion of fake beef. That's just f nasty. Lava sauce is for wussies. What you know about Greek yogurt? Double the protein and half the sodium of regular yogurt. Who wants to pay for sandy meat? Spicy flaxseed chips, tiny seeds, big omega-3 flavor. Adios, cholesterol. Hello, fiber. All nine essential amino acids. Mmm, yo quiero. Fold that baby up. Looks like the sandy meat took too long to make. I call it the TNT. A totally nutritious taquerito. Comida, comida! I think it has a nice full flavor. The uh, pepper jack cheese gives it a nice full taste. I always love guacamole. Anything I eat, so I always like this. And uh, the tortilla even has a nice uh, spicy flavor to it. This burrito doesn't have a lot of different flavor and texture, and it wasn't very diverse. Um, kind of tasted like a bunch of cheese to me, and that wasn't very appealing. Bitchin'. 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 Winning. Duh. Next time, Jack in the Box.